location extensions. All right, we are gonna talk location extensions now. And this is another great extension, it takes up quite a bit of room and it allows people to get directions to your business or it'll also show a phone number so people can call right from the ad and basically shows people you're nearby so you know they can find the you know if you have a multiple locations they can find the nearest one they can make sure you're a good fit you know based on your location so the page that I'm on now is the Edwards help file for location extensions gives a little detail kind of what they do um, how they benefit you and you can see they tend to boost click-through rates that's a big one that will increase your quality score which in turn will lower your cost per click and here's a little example a little dated uh, the ad color is now green but here it shows this is the location extension down at the bottom and kind of shows the address and also show the phone number so I'm gonna to go to a live live search here and show you uh, oil change near me I just did real quick and right at the bottom here you'll see this location extension another th one thing it, it kind of stands out you know it um, it takes up another line and because it shows the phone number and the hours I think it stands out a little more um, you'll see it does say close today so I did this search on today's a Sunday and it shows the hours here but because they're closed on Sunday it I can see how this might turn someone off from clicking the ad so that's something just to keep in mind if you do have your hours put on your it's so location extensions are tied to your Google my business page so if you have your hours set on your Google my business page uh, it's just something to keep in mind but you'll see when you click on the location pulls up um, the location and right here you can just type your your you know where you are now and get directions to the business and let's just jump over into a the account and you'll see here we're on the ad extension tab and we're on the location extensions and the first thing I wanted to kind of point out is you'll see there's a bunch here that are removed and then there's more that are um, approved so there's this little drop down here that says all and if you click all but removed it'll just show the ones that are active so the removed ones are either the business was shut down you know the Google, the Google my business listing was was turned off or I'm this account is no longer managing it so I wouldn't have access to it and if if for some reason you know you you think you're missing some you can see here the total all locations at the bottom shows you know clicks suppressions cost and if that doesn't seem to like align with what's showing that might be the case is you just need to click all and should be it for that let's go down and kind of show you how this works um, when you set it up you need to be a manager or an admin of the Google my business account and the AdWords account and then you'll be able to just click plus extension and you'll click sync I've already done it so you can't kind of you can't see that step and it can take up to 24 hours for them to sync but it's really it's really that easy but you can also, if you have multiple locations, you can filter by name or category and you can kind of get more more detailed as well. So you can do, you know, and or type of uh, matching. And let's see, if you go to campaign extensions, you'll see I have some more, kind of more detailed. Um, I disabled all of them except for one and you'll see if you click the one that's active you can choose by a few different options you can choose you know all locations to be active and Google will automatically show the closer locations or you can choose locations matching that same filter I was just just showing you 
or you can pick, you know, in this case, every campaign is kind of a separate business and a separate location. So I would just pick one, one location that applies. Um, this is just an example. It doesn't actually uh, align with the campaign in this case, but that's, that's how that works. You just, you know, choose one or if there's a few for a certain campaign, you can choose more than one. And the great thing about location extensions is they tend to take up quite a bit of room in when someone does a search. So, you know, it, um, especially on a phone, it takes up uh, a big chunk at the bottom and it allows people to get directions or call right from the ad. So that's basically how you set them up. There are, there's one thing I wanted to kind of point out is that when you're on the account extensions, you can't choose um, what device to show your location extension on. You actually have to go to the campaign or ad group level. So we'll go back into this one. You'll see at the bottom it says show this extension on all devices. If you just wanted, for example, to show it on a desktop or tablet or mobile, you would choose that here. And, uh, you know, it only show it's, it tells you mobile devices only for that location. And let's see, let's uh, briefly, I'll show you how, how to kind of analyze this. So if you click segment here and you click one, the first way to do it is this extension versus other. And you'll see, because the stats are actually based on the ad when this location extension was shown, but not necessarily clicks on this extension. So you'll see there was eight clicks on the extension itself and then 469 on the ad. So that would be the headline or the site link most likely. And if we click segment, and you click, go to click type, you'll get a little more detail and you'll be able to see clicks and impression, you know, all the stats on headline, site link, driving directions, and get location details. And then lastly, if you go to dimensions and then you go to free clicks, you'll see the get direction or navigation start can potentially be free clicks. So that, I think about wraps it up for location extensions. You just need to make sure you create the, create a Google My Business account. And then when you need to be an admin of both your AdWords account and your Google My Business account um, with the same email address and link them that way I find is the best way to kind of not run into syncing issues. I've actually had to call Google on this a few times and, you know, have them look into some issues here and there. So that's uh, kind of the way around that. And that kind of wraps up location extensions.